Hey guys, Silencio here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mixed with me. And this time round, as usual, if you see a new video from me, it usually means a new event has taken place. Well, technically, not very new. <laughs> it's a repeat event for Grookey. So yes, once again, we welcome back this musical monkey um, back into the cafe lines. And of course, we are always welcome when money is coming into our pockets. <laughs> Or well, technically, acorns. Alright, so yeah, the Pokemon Cafe world, Pokemon pay with acorns, you know, for their yummy yummy desserts that we serve to them. So as you can tell, yeah, the event started um, on the 15th of July. So today that I'm recording, it's actually the 16th, so I'm one day behind, but that's fine. And um, yes, let's claim the rewards from the Snorlax event that we helped out with. Hopefully, some of the players managed to get Snorlax. I don't know. But, you know, I already unlocked Snorlax, so getting extra stuff from the event is always nice. So let's start things off as usual with, of course, the Invitational Invites. I'm gonna go with this because Pipplup is just one star away from joining the crew and always welcome my lovely penguin to any of my cafes, be it my mobile account or my Nintendo Switch account. Uh, which which account are you guys playing on? Or rather, which device are you playing on? Let me know in the comment section down below. Are you playing it on your phones? Or an emulator on your PC? Or, of course, your Nintendo Switch? Alright, let's go with Kula. I think I'm pronouncing the Pokemon's name right. I've always got a problem pronouncing her name. <laughs> well, its name. Can't tell whether it's a boy or a girl. Okay. <laughs> So let's gather some of the Piplop icons first. Let's just get rid of the Pico Jars here. Sadly, you can't get rid of all of them. So let's get uh, more icons. I think we can get rid of all these four Pico Jars. There we go. Let's get another skill going. And of course, get rid of the Pico Jars. Okay, we need to get the egg baskets out. Because that's going to be one of the main objectives to clear as well. Of course, not forgetting to touch the pumpkins. Oh my goodness, where did that pumpkin come from? No. That's kind of bad, considering that the pumpkin moved out of range. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so let's just get rid of the four pumpkins there first. Then we can start panicking on the last pumpkin <laughs> available. Okay, it'll be a good idea to shift the pumpkin closer to the other egg baskets where we're gonna try and get them set free. Okay, let's see, can we... There we go. Killing two birds with one stone. Hmm, we have a problem. Yep, seems like... Oh no. Should we use the item? Seems like we have to... Even using the item, we might not have... Um... Hmm... This is a problem. Maybe we should use this, since we have 48 of them. Because a vertical line. Yep, let's do this. Okay, so now the only problem we have is the basket. Actually, that's like what one of the rare few times we've actually used an item to help us clear the stage. Considering how many we have, I think it's okay. We can forgive ourselves this time round. Um, the game did give us the items to use to help clear the game. How many baskets are we touching? Oh no, we are short of one! That one basket! Oh, dang! That's such a waste. Ah, if only we had enough Pokemon icons to settle this. And I wouldn't have to spend this 900. Oh well, what's done is done. Okay, so we just need one more basket. So let's do that and move on. Oh boy, what a waste on the first level. But that's okay. Our blue adorable friend joins the crew. That's the main important thing. Ah, 
Aww, look at that. So cute. Alright, moving on to Snubble this time round. Slowly making our little blue friend more powerful. Okay, let's see. Lucario. Let's get at it. Cario icons. Okay, the main important thing I think is the strawberry baskets. That's gonna be an issue. Meowth icons. There's quite a bit of them. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to power up Snubble's skill um, to destroy the chestnuts. So let's just try and get rid of the strawberry baskets first. Okay, there we go. First round of chestnuts gone. Okay. Alright, let's gather more Lucarios. Cover all the strawberry baskets if possible. Snubbles. Yep. There we go. We don't really have to power up Snubbles skill though. Um because there's only like a few of them. I mean the chestnuts. Hmm. Okay, let's just go with the icons. To clear the strawberry basket. Of course, let's just make use of the powered up skill to destroy the remaining five chestnuts. And we are good! Not too difficult of a level. Could have done better, but you know. A clear is a clear! Alright, we're done with the invitational levels. Let's move on to the actual 10 stages. Okay, Executor. Hmm. It'll be good to get rid of the olives that are not coated first. Yeah, but the chocolate's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna try and touch the pumpkins as well. Because the pumpkins are going to be a pain. Okay, let's get rid of the olives. Alright, Wabba Fats. go. We're gonna try and get another skill out. So we can get a full maximum range. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Let's get more executors. We could destroy the chocolate pieces manually. Don't really have to rely on skills. Okay, it seems like we could have destroyed or set free the items without powering up Executor's skill. But oh well, what's done is done. At least you guys can learn from my mistakes. Or at least from my trials. Okay, Wabba Fats. Let's get rid of the chocolates. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. And we can get one megaphone to clear the other two chocolates. And we are good! Whew. Narrow shave. I'm clearing this level. So this level can be a bit uh, tricky. So just gotta pay attention on what you need to do. Um, don't learn from what I've done. You know, powering up executor skill just to destroy the same amount of stuff that I can do uh, that I could have done with a non-power up skill. So yeah, learn from that. All right. So we're getting. Two levels with the same Pokemon uh, as a customer and a, a crew member. That's pretty interesting. We don't get that very often. Alright, let's get out some more whipped creams. Hmm. We should be trying to pull out the tomatoes here. Yeah. Okay. Let's dig the tomatoes out. Because that's what we need. To get into the baskets. Okay, let's squirt those here. Let's dig all the tomatoes out if possible. This one is stuck over here. Okay, 
can we dig it out? Nope. Hmm. Can I... Three mains, there we go. Alright, so all the whipped cream is out. And we just gotta push the tomatoes into the area that we need. It's just too many things going around. Okay. Okay, can we push all the whipped creams together? So we can destroy all of them together. Okay, we've got a big problem. <laughs> we have not enough moves, but there are whipped creams all over the place. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're gonna have to retry this level. How can we settle this level? Oh, this is such a pain. Okay, so main thing, let's dig the tomatoes out. Dig them out, dig them out. I think I think clearing the tomatoes is first priority. Um yeah. So let's do that first. Alright. Okay. Things are looking kind of okay. Alright, let's get as many whipped creams out as possible. Seems like we've got a good amount here. And okay, let's clear some of the eggs as well. There we go. Pretty decent clear. Now the only problem is the whipped creams. Hmm. That should do it. Okay. So how are we going to settle the whipped creams? Let's push them all together. Let's not get them too far apart. Okay, eggs are settled. Let's get this powered up. Alright, I think we are good. Um, yeah, we're just short of one whipped cream. We have a megaphone here. Whew! Okay, <laughs> luckily we did have to go for a third round. So that's technically how you should handle the level. I can't say if I'm pretty lucky considering where the whipped creams appeared after hitting the whipping bag. So yeah, that that's really a play on the challenge as well. The RNG factor. So let's satisfy Wabafet now. Hmm. We've got marshmallows. Okay, so let's just gather our main Pokemon and let's clear the marshmallows. All of them if possible. Okay, let's gather the Charmanders. There's quite a lot of them. Okay, let's set free all the... Ooh, we're short of certain items. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's set free the last one. We're gonna need to use a skill. There we go. Then we destroy the fruit cans and as many marshmallows as possible. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's see. Hmm, there's a lot of pit plops going around. So let's get a pit plop. Okay, let's clear the marshmallows here first. Alright, then let's use this. Okay, we don't have enough. Power or range to clear the rest. Maybe it should have been a better idea to save up and power up the skill. Oh well. Hmm, this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. We are one move short. So yes, learn from my mistakes. Power up the skill. Clear everything at one go. Oh well, let's retry this. And do it properly. Okay, mistakes were made. But lessons were learned. Let's do this. Clear the marshmallows. There we go. 
Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna gather as many icons as possible. Alright. Let's get the pick box. Okay. We've got the skills. We've got the talent. Yes, I'm quoting Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's gather the icons to power up the skills as well. At the same time, let's really try and set free the marshmallows on the left side. Okay. Alright, we're done with the marshmallows over there. Maybe let's use this to clear the marshmallows over here. Hopefully the megaphone touches the... Yep! Yeah. Okay. Now the only problem is, can we clear two canisters with one megaphone? Yes, we can. Whew. Okay, so it was a pretty risky finisher. But nevertheless, we did pretty well on our second try once we've learned our mistakes <laughs> so hopefully this video helps you you know observe the mistakes possible before you tackle the level by yourself alright let's see oh Grookey's in line now that's nice oh no this looks tricky Okay, let's clear out the honey. I think the honey is a bigger problem than the vegetable crates. So let's go with the bigger issue first. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh well. Okay. Alright, now that we have cleared the honey, let's tackle... Um, the vegetable crates and of course the sugar cubes so we've got the skill let's make use of it to clear the sugar cubes and of course create more space for more icons to fall in if they can fall in <laughs> vegetable crates hmm okay this is a problem push this skill icon down hmm. okay the skill icon is down so we just need it to clear the last two sugar cubes and we're good could have done better but you know we were unlucky that the icon was stuck you know preventing it from flowing to the other side which is where we needed it to be oh well Oh! Friendship bonus from the big boy! Hmm... Not exactly the Pokemon I needed on. It would be better if it was the one behind him. <laughs> but, oh well! Jigglypuff? Please don't put your customer to sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. What is this mixture of icons? Okay, let's get Jigglypuff icons going. Let's travel down. Clear the pickle jars if possible. Hmm. Jigglypuff again. Clearing pickle jars and of course the vegetables as well if possible. Alright, Lucara, let's go. This is pretty interesting. Okay, let's do a pop over here and change most of the icons to Jigglypuffs. And from here, let's just go around the screen, clearing what we can. There's a lot of megaphones though. Okay, so we're gonna 
get rid of the megaphones here. We need a chain of 27, so that's gonna be our main target this time round. There we go. Alright, all pickle jars are done, so let's just get rid of the strawberry baskets. Not a big problem. Oh, one more. No need for skills. Let's just use the icons. Alright, we are done. But we used up all our moves, so eh. Big boy is getting closer to maximum level. And there it is! Grookey! Our main special guest. Would have been nice to have that friendship bonus though. There's always a chance that it might occur again. Right after the first one. You know, slim chances. Alright, Pikachu icons, lots of them. This one looks a bit tricky. Hmm, do we need to le level up now? I think we can just destroy the pieces on the bottom. Yep. Okay, let's gather as many icons as possible. Okay, Pikachu's. go. Okay, let's get this in. Alright, once all the mixing items are settled, I think we are pretty much good to go. Can we get rid of these two first? Don't want to destroy the top layer cheese. Because we don't want the icons to hinder our way to the basket. But it seems like we might have a problem. <laughs> oh no! What is this mess? Alright, let's push them in. We have to destroy them. Seems like it. Okay. Let's push them out. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, wait. There was one more? No! <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. I thought I was done. Okay. I guess this is gonna be a slightly longer video. We have to retry three levels. But you know, after seeing me make mistakes, you guys. You know what to do if you are playing to save acorns on your own personal try. Uh oh, I missed out on the cheese on the left side. Oh well. There we go. It is possible to hit three rolls of cheese, but it's just that we are pretty unlucky. <laughs> okay, let's destroy all the cheese on the top row. So once that is done, um, we can start pushing all this stuff out. Push, push, push. Go. Hopefully we can get these four things to mix together. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't mess this up. Uh oh. Uh oh. I messed it up. I messed it up. No! <laughs> uh, 
What a painful experience. I'm just gonna do the 900 acorns because this is just seriously unfortunate. <laughs> Let's move on! <laughs> oh well. Now that is out of the way. Uh, such agonizing pain. Hmm. Okay, it seems like we're gonna have to power up the Blossom skill because the range of the bubble items are kind of far apart. Uh oh, one of them moved out. That's not good. Of course, we're gonna have to um, try and pop all the popcorns in the old so natural way. There we go. Okay, we're gonna power this up. Set free those pumpkins. Hopefully the megaphones help to destroy, well, a decent amount. Okay. Can use a megaphone here to set free the megaphone. And of course, destroy a pumpkin at the same time that we can do this. Uh oh, we missed out on one pumpkin. Oh, dang. Right, seems like RNG is not on our side. So let's get Blossoms going. Hopefully, we can push this pumpkin to the other side. Nope. Pretty unlucky there. Oh, that's fine. Okay, maybe we can push this megaphone up like that. Yeah, it's facing the pumpkin. Yeah, that's how you do skillful Pokemon Cafe play. So good when it happens, uh, you know, accordingly to plan. <laughs> if you guys ever had such scenarios where you had pro play, let me know in the comment section. How was it like for your ex your own personal experience? You know, it would be nice to hear what kind of fantastic plays you guys did on your own without other people watching. Alright, Wabafat, let's go. Hmm, we've got chocolate issues. Okay. Do we need to power up Wabafat's skill? I think maybe not. Okay, let's get to the blossoms. Okay, we're gonna destroy some of the ketchup bottles the natural way. So we can get more room for more Pokemon icons. And we're gonna do mass destruction with megaphones. Well, not exactly mass destruction, but... There you go. Pretty good amount of stuff destroyed this time round. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's get Wobbuffet going. Okay, destroy the chocolates here. There's a lot of blossoms there. Let's get the blossoms to destroy stuff naturally. Hmm. Seems like we are actually doing pretty okay. Maybe we use the mega force to destroy the chocolates above. If they destroy things above. Oh my goodness, it didn't hit anything. That's just horrible. Okay, we're gonna do something risky right here. Come on, come on. There we go. Whew, that was nerve wracking. <laughs> okay, so we cleared the level with all the moves used, but that's fine. Sometimes you have to play risky. Yes, the game exciting. Oh, friendship bonus. Are we on the last level? I hope it is. Oh, so close. We're one level away. 
Oh, Grookey's in line again. Oh, wow. And he's gonna be our last level. Cool. Hopefully we get another friendship bonus. That'll be really awesome. Alright, Lucario. Okay, we couldn't get all the caramels, but, you know. The whipped creams are going to be an issue though. Okay, let's get him more Lucarios. I think we're going to have to power up his skill. There we go. Let's power up his skill. Clear as many things as possible. If we can, try to get the whipped creams and um, the chestnuts as close to each other as possible so that you don't have to go too far. Okay, let's see, can I push the chestnut together? Well, technically I did. So we only have a whole bunch of uh, whipped creams left to clear. So that's not too bad of a problem. Is that two whipped cream left? Let's just require a skill and we are good! So it can be a bit of a nuisance level, but it's not too difficult. Just gotta stay focused on what needs to be cleared and you should be good. Aww, no friendship bonus for Grookey? That's kind of sad. Anyways, we're on the last level. Let's do this. Hmm. Tiny baskets. Olives are gonna be a problem. Okay, let's get as many vegetable crates as possible. Can we get rid of all the olives? Well, at least a majority of them. The tomatoes are going to be coated though. So that's going to be a problem. We coat them. There we go. One tomato in. We get another one. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so let's try and get rid of all the olives here. Nice! And the tomatoes didn't get coated. Now that's, we, that's what we call pro play. Okay, tomato is in. Now the only problem is we need score. Okay. Maybe let's get Bubble Saw skill powered up so we can get a score going. There we go. Hopefully this does the trick. Yes it does! Whew! Thank goodness. So yeah, a pretty tricky level, especially with the olives um, getting in the way with coating items. So just try to get the tomatoes as far away as the olives as possible. Um, you know, at least out of range, so that they don't get coated by olives uh, with olive oil, and you should be fine. So that's it guys, another 10 levels and 2 invita uh, invitational stages for Pokemon Cafe Mix. Grookey is back once again. Um, as of right now, on the Japanese Twitter for Pokemon Cafe Mix, strangely enough there is no English Twitter account for Pokemon Cafe Mix. I don't know why, but you know, according to the Japanese Twitter account, um, they have already sent out links to um, chosen players in Japan who have been picked to test out the brand new beta um, um, Pokemon Cafe mix for the future game. I mean future updates, you know what the developers are planning the game to be like in the future. So they are testing out the game right now. So hopefully things will turn to a positive outlook 
with all these beta testers and of course we can look forward to something more exciting with Pokemon Cafe Mix in the future. I am still very excited to see how this game will evolve into. The game is still pretty fun as its current form uh, but of course I think the developers have certain concerns they need to fulfill especially when it comes to earning an income um, from this game. After all mobile games are technically the big earners for game companies nowadays. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so anyways guys, thank you guys for joining me on episode um, for Pokemon Cafe Mix. What do you guys think of the 10 stages and of course the invitational stages that we've gone through? Have you gone through them yourself? How have you tackled them? Maybe you have some exciting um, players that you want to share with me in the comments down below. Write to me. You know, let me know what kind of exciting plays you've encountered yourself you know, play while playing this game. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode sometime soon. Bye!